Orioth Leadership Academy is the flagship program of the Orioth Development Office where we aim to equip our youth on leadership um, skills, project management, and communication skills. But this year, it's unique because we focus on youth leadership in a time of crisis. So the focus is really on crisis management. The reason why um, we've created this program, it's because we want to equip our youth to become um, engaged and empowered, especially in this time of pandemic. Um, I have three things that I want to share with the group, which essentially, number one, you don't own the best solution. And what we realized, what made Help From Home actually um, achieve these milestones was that dealing with a crisis really isn't a competitive race. This is not, ah, ako ba makakagawa ng best initiative to help solve the virus, etc. Because for us to have grown that size, what we did really was coordinate with different groups who were their own experts who had their own knowledge and there was that mutual respect now we're here together because um as was mentioned in your previous session no what do you realize is that we're all in the same boat well uh, youth leadership uh, certainly is very important wherever you are all over the world at all times Youth leadership uh, prepares uh, our leaders of tomorrow to be much better than our leaders of today. Especially now in this pandemic, uh, with all the uncertainties and anxieties that uh, be cloud, with all the adjustments that need to be made as we go to the new normal, with all the restrictions, limitations that we have to bear, youth leadership is all the more very, very important. Make our youth stronger, more resilient, and much better. Well, para sa kung ano, dako kayo ang kab, <coughs> kab, ka, dako kayo ang challenge, no? Para sa dili lang sa panggobyerno, kung dili para sa tanan. Kung saan man pag-harness aning energy, especially karon nga ang mga kabatan-unan, uh, specific, no, particular aning sa ito ang pandemic karon kani itong mga kabatan-unan, taghan kay slag energy kay naram sa sulod sa balay. No? Ang uh, importante, no, nga, kani siya nga energy kay ito ang magamit into a more productive nga mga uh, outputs. No? And, and hopefully sa pag-invest aning um, <coughs> gobyerno sa Cagayan no hopefully maghatag sa direksyon maghatag sa direksyon sa mga kaning mga kabatan unan kung unsa day ang isa ka option nga maayo nga paggamit sa mga energy nga natapok no nya ay kaduha importante kayo gyud nga mag-invest uh, sa uh, youth no or, or sa leadership in, especially in times of crisis kay you should, most of the time no we wear the word new normal no in up our sleeves pero what ka ba luon sa di pa sabot anyang new normal Youth leadership in a time of crisis is vital in this time of pandemic. Most especially that we, the youth, have the time, energy, and enthusiasm to solve community problems that we have. Because I believe that youth leadership is not just about serving yourself, but it's about serving your community. Because I believe that it's about being servant first, not leaders. As young leaders as we are, we really have the passion, the drive, the commitment, the desire, um, the motivation and the inspiration, and that's already a good start, no? But having the competence, the consensusness, no, and the commitment is something else. So, Oila is a very good platform for, for all of you because it's giving us the tools, no? It's providing us the necessary skills, competencies that we need. Karon manggod na panahon no ang mga kabataan unan kay uh, pressured kayo nga kanang unsa man ang imuhang image na imong ginapakita or kanang naaba kay inani nga para ma makuan kanu ma praise apan kanang para sa ako ah, ang kabatan unan nga dili lang magthink sa iyang self pero ah, mas magpakabana siya para sa uban para sa ako ah, ah, nag-exemplify na siya og youth leadership and then karon nga crisis so uh, magpakabana siya sa mga social issues nga naakaron sa tanang crisis nga ato ang uh, nakuan karon na experience.
lagi ko siya sabi sa kanila is you need to find something where you can actually help. Uh, no amount of help is ever too small to not create a little bit of positive change. So I always say that. So wag yung isipin na yung pag-share niyo sa Facebook, na mga campaigns, yung pag-ID story niyo, na mga call for donations. They are not actually help, but they are help. They are actually big help. And you'll never know how much people you can reach just by sharing. Kasi dapat yung public narrative natin, magsisimula pa rin dun sa sa sarili natin no sa sarili nating hugot at hindi siya naka, hindi siya centered doon sa mga mahihirap na na kwento natin no magsisimula pa rin siya doon sa pinaka core kung bakit tayo kumikilos one thing that makes oila very different from uh, other trainings is that oila uses the value of stories uh, when we use the story it becomes more personal and more um, effective in terms of honing the skills for leadership at the same time, OILA is very contextualized. It is one, or if not, the known academies for here in Cagayan de Oro City. It contextualizes uh, the situation of the city, and it really gives or paves way for leaders to really know how to lead well Cagayan de Oro City. We you use your profession as a form of activism, but it can be as simple as sharing stories online. It's where you are standing up at the present. As I mentioned earlier, is to not give up on people we disagree with. Lagay nyo lang pa rin sila dyan. Make sure you still follow them. Um, make sure you still um, get news and information from sources that you don't believe in necessarily. But it's more like getting, getting a bigger picture of what is happening around you. So as a mentor, one thing that I've, I've learned all throughout the oil experience is that um, there should, or one should have the humility to learn and at the same time you should be generous enough to share and uh, yeah, to share your thoughts, your, your experience, especially to the young leaders who are at the developing stage of their leadership journey. Dadating at dadating ang pagkakataon na mapapagod kayo. Totoo yan, hindi nyo kailangan i-den na yan. No? Mapapagod talaga tayo. During the ECQ, I lost 10, 10 kilos in, in, a, in a span of a month and sobrang pagod na pagod na talaga kami. Pero what kept us going is that malinaw sa amin why we're doing the things that we do. Malinaw sa amin yung mga bakit namin. You should also listen to them because they have so many um, lessons to also share and that our role is really more of we are enabling learning, we are allowing learning amongst them, we are bringing them together so that they can learn from each other. So I think the pinaka role um, na ako as a mentor that I learned along the way is that I don't have to to do personally, but to really allow them to learn from each other and enable a learning environment for them. I actually have two takeaways from Ayla. First, it made me realize that when serving the community, it is not about myself anymore. Rather, it is now about the people in the community I am serving. Second is the leadership skills that Oila imparted in me that helped me grow and learn more as a leader on how should I navigate things and create possibilities, especially this time of pandemic. Well, I am very blessed and I am very grateful to be part of this Oro Youth Leadership Academy Batch 2, Batch Mugso, because this is very unique since online is na set up sa Oro Youth Leadership Academy. And of course, uh, ang mga learnings na akong nakuha, na though online, I can apply it sa akong leadership skills. And it's funny how, when we are formulating with the batch name, uh, one thought that comes into my mind is the word Himugso, uh, because it means a new birth, and it means a new beginning of leaders in a time of crisis. And it struck me the most because it really is, or it really defines us as our Youth Leadership Academy Batch too, because we are in a time of crisis and we are a new breed of leaders who can respond to the crisis and dam ubili matibag despite of the crisis nga nasa That's why I'm really happy and I'm really blessed na naako diri sa our Youth Leadership Academy Batch too, but si Mugso. Um, on a personal note, I also want to, I'm excited to meet them in person and I know that because our group is mixed, so some of them are SKs, the others are 
in school youth. And so it's, a, it's very amazing that I'm able to see them work together. And we did not expect, I did not expect personally that they will be able to work together as a group. Of course, kung may maganda kang ideya, kailangan mo siyang pag-practice. Kailangan mo siyang gawa ng presentation. Kailangan mo siyang because you need to be involved and believe in your idea. Because you know, when you speak, the bar, it, it comes with it. You know, the presentation comes with it. And you need to show, don't just tell, illustrate it. Make us imagine what you're thinking. We have a saying that to whom much is given, much is expected in return. So I am excited as a mentor na makita ang ako ang mga mentees nga gabuhat ang mga butang nga amo lang ginaistoryahan dati. Gabuhat sa mga butang nga amo lang gipangandoy dati. O gabuhat sa mga butang nga amo lang gi-imagine dati. Right now, I'm happy nga murbitog o grabe na kayo ang experience na mo, uh, sa among gina-work on karong nga project. And whatever project man ang mapili, grabe the look forward did ko nga kaning ang collaboration and ang success and effectivity and ang sustainability ano nga project dira ko gaka excite I I'm really excited about um, not just siguro the ties that we could make with the whole batch and the camaraderie inga na I am very I'm much more excited about what possible societal change can we make into the community uh, I can attest that we all we all have learned so much in this experience may it be the technical stuff about being a leader. May it be life experiences of different people from all the different speakers that we have met and that share their stories to us, their narratives. And I am very excited on how they will be able to maximize all these learnings that they have because again and again, learning is powerful. Knowledge is powerful. However, it is much more powerful when these knowledge are put into action, when you maximize all these things and really contribute to the community. Not just mere ideas, not just mere visions, but really application of what you have learned. And I'm very excited for that. Ano kaya ang difference norm? This is when we don't see ourselves as the main element in the picture, but it puts forward or it gives attention to what must be done. It is very important that one has to realize that uh, uh, he, he does not live alone in this world, no? and uh, leadership develops our people, develops our young, especially as they uh, face a, a tomorrow that can be uncertain, a tomorrow that uh, may even be beclouded. Uh, and uh, so he has to be, the, the youth has to be stronger and the youth has to be uh, uh, guided. You know? Leadership is something that, uh, uh, in, that is instinct. You know? But then uh, there is also a need for some guidelines, some guidance, some tutoring. Uh, in order for our future leaders to understand the nuances of leadership, the challenges that leadership entails, the frustrations that leadership carries, and the successes that leadership produces. What's next for Oila is actually what's, uh, where the real challenge starts, where the real um, question begins. because. Um, Oila is just really a stepping stone for this youth to um, for this youth to have that platform in engagement. So um, the next step really for Oila is uh, one is implementing their batch project since they, they will be choosing a batch project at the end of the program and um, actually implementing and using this um, skills that they learned in Oila and apply it um, in addressing the real world problems that uh, we have, especially the Risa Dakbayan sa Kagayan Dior. Batch Shimugso, are you ready to lead? Oi! Yay! I see the world through my thrift store shades, rose colored lenses, and a fake gold frame. Come on! Cause you know, rock songs on.
on a nail guitar Posing for your picture like a superstar Yeah, come on